a lot of people are not familiar with what quantum computing is, right? So for those listeners, uh, can you briefly tell us what are the key differences between uh, quantum computing and traditional computing in, in practical terms? The, the difference is the speed at which quantum can potentially solve problems. And so classical computing, I think everybody, all your listeners will understand that has bits, right? You can either be a zero or one. So a bit like a GPS, like you have to follow step-by-step -step instructions, go down this route, then this route, then this route. For quantum, throw the GPS out because a qubit can be both a zero and a one at the same time. That's called a state of superposition. You can be in both states at the same time. But what makes quantum even more powerful is that the qubits can be connected no matter their distance. And that's called entanglement. And so what, what that means practically is that in quantum, you can it's essentially like having a, an amazing, highly communicative team that can explore many routes and many options at the same time. So if you think about things like drug discovery, where it's a really, really complex problem, but there's a narrow set of data, you can explore all the different paths to get to your result much faster than a classical computer can ever get to that solution. So therefore, it creates new opportunities for businesses, um, for individuals, for humanity. And like what I'm most excited about between classical and quantum is that convergence of AI and quantum working together um, in this great symbiotic relationship where one benefits from the other um, that will unlock a whole new world of possibilities. And I like today, I, I mean, I could talk about some use cases, but the honest truth is like, we don't know all the use cases for quantum yet, much like we didn't know all the use cases for AI. Um, like the explosion in generative AI and how people are using Gen AI now, you know, I didn't dream of all these different possibilities. So I'm so excited about, you know, this hybrid future that we're on the cusp of, of realizing.